The Warriors pull it in. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. Here's Peyton. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. We think of Thompson as a beautifully gifted shooter, but make no mistake, he understands when and where to place the basketball when a teammate is open. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It was a strong move. The shot's just a little off. And the Warriors make some changes. Green's checked in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Clay Thompson. And it's DiVincenzo in for Peyton. Well, the veteran leadership, the unselfish attitude, and the versatility of Andre Iguodala, to me, this guy is excellent at whatever is asked of him. This is why you put the ball in his hands. An accurate pass hitting a moving target. Here's DiVincenzo. Ooh, lands soft on the front of the rim and drops in. Kick to the outside, heads up play. Cognizant of the entire floor. Inside, here's Morris. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Morris has got four points in the quarter. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. And since the halftime break, their offense has just been on another level. i got to believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake, a comedy of errors. Green's checked in for the Warriors. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Man, he's checked in for coffee. Curry's shot is off. For Los Angeles, they've gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals. But without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. Stephen Curry is must see TV right now. This guy offensively so brilliant. George outside. Tipped away. And they get it back. Morris can't hit. Here's Golden State. They're on a 16-6 run. For three, DiVincenzo. No good on the shot. And Los Angeles the other way now. And the Warriors pushing it up now. The three from Curry. And the three-pointer goes. Curry's got 28. He tore it up from downtown in the first half. Now hits this one. Dangerous shooter, guys. On the wingman. He can't get it to go. Green with the defensive effort. Outside Kaminga. Pass to DiVincenzo. Remaining in the third. Two minutes. There's the three. Sends it home from three-point land. DiVincenzo's got eight. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Now here's Zubats. George, left side. Played it in with a nice All touch off the window. George has got his first bucket in this one. That one's not on the defense. That's just pure aggression from Paul George. He wants that challenge. Green for three. And the Warriors with another three. Even though he hasn't lit up the scoreboard, I like how he's keeping others involved. Well, the Clippers shooting a less than average 27% in the third quarter. Here's Mann. DiVincenzo covering. With the floater. And that one's good. Man. Man's got his second basket of the night. Oh, he has a lot of tools in the toolkit. That right there was just one of them. Oh, wasted no time on that one. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. George outside. From the elbow. Rebounded by Green. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Another three for Golden State. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Pass to George. 18 feet out. The Warriors pull it in. Boy, a really tough quarter for this guy. Just struggling to make shots right now. Here's Green. And he lays it up and in. 11 points in the game. Well, Draymond Green is accustomed to taking contact. You get the sense this guy lives for it. 
Now Kaminga. Here he goes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> He's a living highlight reel. Seriously, that could end up being one of the best dunks of the year. Here's Kaminga. Two points. That one goes. Kaminga's got four points this quarter. Well, give Steph Curry some props for triggering that break. He makes a great defensive play, and it leads to an easy opportunity. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Not sure why he committed the intentional foul. No purpose. I think everyone's a little confused, but weird plays happen. And so Westbrook nails both of them. What we know unequivocally is the best players being your hardest workers, the guys who want to be held That's accountable, make such an impact on score. your program, and Come that on, is Warriors. Russell Westbrook to a T. And so it's the Golden State. The Clippers, 21. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fellow with the sweetest pass of the day. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Wiggins and Green make up the forwards. Dante DiVincenzo out there with Stephen Curry. And it's Looney in at the center, locking down the middle. That's the Warriors 5. Your Warriors, Gary Payton, the second. Here's Boston. Green covering. Here's Covington. It's not going to go for him. Looney with some nice D. Outside, Green. And Doris Commissioner Silver has expressed a desire to ensure star players participate in a full complement of games. What's the answer here? I think, B.A., a couple things come to mind. There's been a long discussion about whether you can shorten the regular season. That obviously impacts revenue generated, so I'm not sure you'd go there. The league could also structure contracts to incentivize games played. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? It's stolen by Looney. Pass to Curry. DiVincenzo on the wing. Knocked loose. In transition, here come the Clippers. The shot by Boston, no good. To the paint. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Nice basic one-hander there. Hey, I think he got some extra bounce off the ground on that one. Gordon outside. Deflected! And they'll keep possession, and they get it back. Covington, no good. The Warriors have gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Pass to Curry. Here's Preston. Curry with a steal! And out of bounds, the Clippers will take it, and the Warriors make some changes. Green's checked in for Draymond Green. Lamb comes in for DiVincenzo. And it's Poole in for Curry. Morris, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Mann comes in for Preston. And there's the foul. It'll go on Jamichael Green. That's his first foul of the game. Boy, viewership numbers are on the rise. NBA business is booming. I guess it's a good time to own a piece, eh, Grant? Hey, B.A., you said it best. The league is in great shape. We have great leadership, talent. It's an exciting time, and I think the league has more growth globally in the years to come. Man, that's good. And they're refusing to take a break, even with a nice lead. They just continue to attack. You have to love it. And that, to me, is a sign of excellent coaching. There's an attention to detail. There is valuing of every possession. And you oftentimes hear about players at peace with their game. Well, that is Eric Gordon, a knockdown shooter with physicality. Plenty of room for that in today's NBA. Both free throws good from Gordon. And Gordon, the seventh pick back in 2008, Grant. Never quite an all-star, but he's been an impact player at times in his career. Well, you know, B.A., I mean, he's been a key contributor to some quality teams. And when a shot gets going, you can be in trouble. 
hits the trifecta. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. Pass to Boston. Here's Mann, started by Poole. Mann misses. Golden State has gone four or five from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Here's Payton. Here's Green. Off with the layup. In transition, here come the Clippers. Now here's Batum. And down it goes. Two points. Assist. Batum's gotten four this quarter. Touch right around the rim by Nick Batum. Go ahead. Score inside. Nick, show him what you got. The Clippers have got two of eight shots to drop in the final quarter. Golden and it's Gary foul. Payton, the second Gary with a foul. Payton. That's foul number two for second him. We've seen fans Chief removed four. for inappropriate comments to players. Doris, where do you draw the line between heckling and being inappropriate? I think one way I look at this, Brian, is if I were face-to-face -face with somebody, what would I be comfortable saying? I think we should always err on the side of caution. It's okay to heckle and have some fun and sort of give your team support, but I think if we ultimately keep respect foremost in our minds, we'll be okay. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. Here's Boston. That shot is off. The Warriors go the other way with it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Outside Kaminga. Moody from outside. Hits a three-pointer. Moody's got himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to him at all times. Well, you know this. This guy was looking for his shot the whole time. You have to know who you're guarding. KYP, know your personnel. Gordon outside. Oh, and again, unable to change momentum here. Lamb passes to Green, and here is Kaminga. Moody from outside. Knocks down the long J. Moody's got nine points here in the second half. During this final quarter, he's erupted from outside the arc. Just assume every three he takes now is going in. And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Warriors. And everything seemed to go their way today. They were firing on all cylinders, Grant. Yeah, B.A., this was the kind of performance you relish as a player. Just a very impressive win. Yeah, this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Stephen Curry. This guy has been shot-making all night long. He commands the rock and takes over. Warriors foul. Well, a late second-round pick in 2019 out of Florida State. Terrence Mann has proven to be a steal, and it's going to be in this league for a long, long time. And the Clippers making a change here. Preston's checked in, and that's good as he hits both shots. So it's the Warriors now. They've given up just eight points in the fourth. Peyton's shot is good. Finishing the game strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And we just had to take one more look at that great drive. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Putting on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the time. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. The drive by man. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Well, they needed this run way earlier. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down.
No good. Moody from outside. And gets it to fall. They got a big lift from their crowd.